Long. We are already seeing some issues from the wind. Several large trees came crashing down this afternoon, and we spoke to the driver of that crushed car. This is in Foster City, and the driver told us he was just driving on Center Road on his way to Costco when he heard a big noise, and then that tree came crashing down onto his car. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And those heavy winds also brought down this tree in San Francisco. Security camera video shows the moment that several cars, as you see right there, were damaged when that tree came crashing down. This was in the parking lot there in the Mission District. Our Christian captain actually spoke to a man who narrowly avoided being crushed by that tree. You'll hear from him coming up in just a few minutes at 5. And another downed tree to tell you about making for a massive traffic slowdown for drivers headed this afternoon into San Francisco at the Treasure Island tunnel along the Bay Bridge. Giving you a live look now at the backup that's heading into San Francisco. Boy, what a mess the strong winds will pick up throughout the evening. Thanks to those winds downing trees throughout the area, we're already seeing a number of power outages. Here's a current look at some of the outages affecting parts of the Bay Area. More than 70,000 customers are currently without power, with more than 30,000 outages also reported on the peninsula, about 16,000 in the South Bay, and at least 7,000 people affected in San Francisco and the North Bay and East Bay as well. PG&E urging people here in the Bay Area to make preparations for this series of storms now making its way through the region. As we've been talking about those strong winds and even some rain expected, and those could cause more trees and limbs to fall and other debris to crash right into power lines like we've already seen. PG&E has activated its regional and statewide emergency operations centers, and the utility is moving resources to areas that could be most affected by the storms here in the Bay Area, as well as in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We are uh, staging our crews. We are preparing uh, for uh, deploying our resources, whether it's crews, materials, anything that we need to restore power to our customers over the next few days. Now, if the power goes out, here are some tips from PG&E. Never touch a live power line. We've heard that time and time again. Also, it's a good idea to keep a battery-operated flashlight and radio within easy reach. Store water-filled plastic containers in your freezer and use safer LED candles if you can. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about these high winds. Right. I have to say, Mark, I was a bit surprised at just how gusty things were on my drive in from San Francisco to Oakland just a few yeah. hours ago. And Especially, it, yeah, near the coast. Go ahead, Claudine. No, Sorry. it feels like it's just the beginning, too. Yeah, yeah that's right. And that is the problem. This is kind of a long-duration event. And the wind advisories that we were talking about yesterday have mm -hmm. been upgraded to a high wind warning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, the wind's kind of... Uh, overperforming, at least yeah. compared to what the forecast were anticipating, at least what we were expecting uh, yesterday. So strong winds easily going up above 40, up above 50 miles an hour. And keep in mind these uh, visuals you were seeing with the downed trees, these are all linked to the uh, January storms. Of course, they were weakened quite a bit with all the rainfall. It doesn't take much for those uh, trees to come down, and the wind's really doing, doing the, their, their thing for today. Take a look at some of the gusts already. Ocean Beach, 68 miles an hour. SFO, 62. Oakland, Hayward, close to 60 miles an hour, San Jose 48. So typically we're talking about, oh, just near the immediate coastline or for the higher elevations. That is not the case. This is widespread over the entire Bay Area. Now, the high wind warning, as you can see, closer to the coastline. So this was the area under a wind advisory. This is now a high wind warning indicating gusts up above 50 miles an hour. So we do have that in place until 9 o'clock Wednesday morning. A wind advisory until 1 p.m. Wednesday. Winds going up above 40, approaching 50 miles an hour. This is all linked up to a pattern change, a significant pattern change. Yesterday, we had the mild temperatures. Now you can see that speckled cloud cover up to our north. That is a cold pattern. It's going to bring in some rain and some very low elevation snow here in the Bay Area. As we check out some of the current wind reports, this is the first step, the first stage with that change. You can see the winds picking up. Oakland Airport right now gusting to 45 miles an hour. SFO gusting to 58. San Jose, in fact, we have to update that, uh, that peak gust because you can see right now upwards of 53 miles an hour. Current numbers, it's a cooler pattern out there as we take a look at our current temperatures. And here is our live camera looking out toward the Golden Gate Bridge, the flag moving around quite a bit. And I was actually driving across the bridge earlier for the first time I could hear that whistle with those the strong winds kind of moving right on through what the Golden Gate Bridge. The winds still a part of our forecast, the strong damaging winds for tonight into a tomorrow morning. And eventually we are talking about some rain and some snow showers here in the Bay Area. A lot to talk about. We'll have more on your full forecast coming up in a little bit.